Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is us, Triple M Career Guidance. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing us and if you are already a part of us, do hit the bell icon so you do not miss any other update from us. Welcome to the cutting edge world of biomedical engineering. In this video, we will help you explore this interdisciplinary field and show you how it could be the perfect choice for your career. Biomedical engineering or BME combines engineering principles with medical and biological sciences to design, develop and improve healthcare technologies. BME professionals work on a wide range of projects from creating advanced prosthetics to developing life-saving diagnostic tools. BME graduates enjoy versatile career options across numerous industries. Some popular sectors include medical devices, pharmaceuticals, healthcare services and medical imaging. As a biomedical engineer, you will be at the forefront of healthcare advancements. Your work will contribute to the development of robotic surgery system, 3D printed organs, AI driven diagnostics and so much more. To become a biomedical engineer, you will need a bachelor's degree in BME or any other related field. This degree will provide you with a solid foundation in mathematics, physics and engineering principles along with specialized knowledge in biology and healthcare. Once you've completed your education, you'll have the opportunity to pursue a variety of roles in BME field. Some common job titles include clinical engineer, medical device designer, research scientist and project manager. BME offers you a dynamic and inclusive work environment where you will collaborate with professionals from diverse backgrounds to develop groundbreaking healthcare solutions that improve lives. So, are you ready to shape the future of healthcare with biomedical engineering? Take the first step today and unlock endless possibilities with a career in this changing field. So, recent trends in biomedical engineering focuses on addressing challenges in diagnosis, treatment and patient care, as well as improving the overall quality of life for patients. Some of the recent trends include number one, wearable and implantable devices. Second is telemedicine and remote patient monitoring. Next one is robotics in healthcare. Next one is artificial intelligence and machine learning. The next one is brain computer interface or BCIs. The next one is nanotechnology in medicine. The next one is point of care diagnostics. These recent trends in biomedical engineering are driving innovation in healthcare and improving patients outcome by enabling more accurate diagnosis personalized treatment strategies and enhanced patient care. The subjects taught in biomedical engineering program include number one, anatomy and physiology. So it is the study of the structure and function of the human body, including cellular and tissue organization, organ systems and homostatic mechanisms. The second one is biomaterials. So it is the introduction to materials used in biomedical applications such as metals, ceramics, polymers and natural materials along with biocompatibility, degradation and tissue response. Third one is biomechanics. So it is the application of mechanical principles to understand the behavior of biological systems including the study of mechanics, of hard and soft tissues, joint mechanics and fluid mechanics in biological systems. The fourth one is medical imaging. It includes principles and techniques of medical imaging modalities such as X-ray, computed tomography, CT, magnetic response imaging, MRI, ultrasound and nuclear medicine. The fifth one is bioinstrumentation. This includes design and development of medical instruments and devices used for monitoring, diagnosing and treating medical conditions including sensors, amplifiers, signal processing and data acquisition. The sixth one is biosignal processing. So it is the analysis and processing of biological signals such as electrocardiograms, ECGs, electromyograms, EMGs and electroencephalograms, EEGs as well as feature extraction and pattern recognition techniques. Seventh one is medical electronics. So it is the study of electronic components and circuits used in medical devices such as power supplies, analog and digital circuits, microcontrollers and embedded systems. Eighth one is biomedical control system. It has the principles of feedback control systems applied to biomedical devices and systems including stability analysis, frequency response and design techniques like root locus, board plots 
and state space methods. The next one is cellular and molecular bioengineering. It is the study of cellular and molecular processes including cell signaling, gene expression and tissue engineering as well as techniques for manipulation and analysis at the cellular and molecular levels. The next one is biomedical imaging and image processing. So it is the advanced imaging techniques and image processing methods for the analysis and interpretation of medical images including image enhancement, segmentation and registration. The next one is rehabilitation engineering. So it is the design and development of assistive devices and systems for individuals with disabilities including prosthetics, orthotics and robotic rehabilitation with devices. Next one is health informatics. So it has the applications of information technology to healthcare including electronic health records, telemedicine, medical decision support systems and data analytics. These subjects form the foundation of biomedical engineering enabling the graduates to work in various healthcare sectors such as medical device development, pharmaceuticals, clinical engineering, research institution and regulatory agency. Some of the top companies hiring include Siemens Healthineers, GE Healthcare, Philips and Medtronic. The starting salary for a biomedical engineer in India is around 3 to 5 lakh rupees per annum. Next one is application specialist. So they provide technical support and training to customers, sales teams and service engineers on medical devices and equipments. Companies hiring include Abbott, Roche and Thermo Fisher Scientific. The starting salary for an application specialist in India is around 4 to 6 lakh rupees per annum. The next one is Quality Assurance or Control Engineer. They are responsible for ensuring the quality and compliance of medical device and equipments as well as implementing quality management systems and continuous improvement initiatives. Companies hiring include Stryker, Zimmer Biomet and Smith & Nephew. The starting salary is around 4 to 6 lakh rupees per annum. The next one is Technical Sales Marketing Engineer. They are involved in the marketing and sales of medical devices and equipments providing technical support to customers and identifying new business opportunities. Companies hiring include Olympus, Carlsys and Alcon. The starting salary for a technical sales or marketing engineer in India is around 4 to 6 lakh rupees per annum. The next one is Regulatory Affairs Specialist. They are responsible for ensuring compliance with local and international regulation related to medical devices and equipments, as well as managing product registration and certification processes. Top companies hiring include Novartis, GSK and Sanofi. The starting salary for a regulatory affairs specialist in India is around 5 to 7 lakh rupees per annum. Next one is research scientist or engineer. So they conduct research in biomedical engineering focusing on areas such as tissue engineering, biomaterials or medical imaging and may work in academic institutions, research organizations or industry. The starting salary for a research scientist or engineer in India is around 4 to 7 lakh rupees per annum depending on the candidate's qualification and experience. Let us know in the comment section what else do you want to know about biomedical engineering. Do like and share the video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. Keep watching Triple M Career Guidance.